Hi guys, I'm very glad you tuned in. This video is going to be about wood chip gardening or back to Eden gardening. This video can save you a lot of time and a lot of heartache. A very popular gardening documentary in the past years has been the Back to Eden film documentary where gardener Paul Gauci shows his results and his gardening methods up on the Olympic Peninsula in Washington where he lives. Now let me say right away I have met with Paul Gauci, I visited him at his garden, I've talked with him. We have tested and worked with wood chip gardening methods for the last four years and you might wonder okay still what qualifies you to make this video I think I would say that we have failed miserably because of mistakes and we have learned the hard way and we now know how it's done the right way and I want to share this information with you when I first found out about Paul Gauchi's documentary I was like well let's go for it and I didn't realize that I would spend hours and all counted together probably weeks of time looking on the internet re-watching the documentary trying to find out different things about this and how to do it the right way little details that are not made super super clear but that that are not meant to be hidden either were found in the documentary after I watched it over and over again things that were essential for this whole gardening style to work out. Now the thought in and out of itself is absolutely fantastic. I mean who wouldn't want a garden where you would have to put less and less work in over the time, where you have to do less and less weeding as time goes by, where the plants grow nicer and bigger and where you don't have to water or significantly water less. Now this sounds amazing and I believe that it can be achieved. I think Paul Gauci is a legitimate guy, but I have found so many comments on the internet from people who don't understand, from people who misinterpret, from critics, and from people who are just blindly saying this is amazing. And we have to understand what is right. Now, let me just share from my experience here and the things that we have done wrong. As you can see, I have three piles of material here. This one is a pile of wood chips. Now we need to define wood chips because some people would call either one of these piles wood chips and Paul Gauci in his gardening documentary calls this wood chips and he would call this sawdust or dead material and he would call this raw wood chips. I'm going to use different terms. These are wood chips. This would be in this case it's sawdust but I would also call this a different kind of wood chips and this is compost. Now you can achieve compost by composting grass and by composting bushes and by composting uh, straw and lots of other things but also by composting wood chips. Let me say this very clearly. In this state, in this material, nothing will grow in it. In this state, in this material, nothing will grow in this either. Okay, let me, let me rephrase this. Here and here, the vegetables you want to grow will not grow in this. The vegetables you want to grow will grow in this. Here is where many people misunderstand Paul Gauci. Some people threw this on their garden and some people like me threw even similar stuff to this on the garden. Now, I did not take wood shavings out of the workshop and covered my garden with it, but I took a log and chipped up a log without branches and without the green material on it, which is the same as sawdust and wood shavings. If you just chip up a log, it's the exact same, except for a tiny amount of bark, it's the exact same as wood shavings or sawdust. That cover material, Paul Gauci simply says, it'll work as a cover, but it won't add anything to your garden. Biggest mistake we made is that we used this kind of material and covered our garden with, it will not work. In fact, it will take forever till it's even composted. Now, one thing that we learned on our farm is that we have a lot of use for this material. We use this material to add it into our deep beddings for the chickens. What's the point? This is the brown material and the manure from the chickens or the cows is the green material. And that together gives you 
this at the end. Paul Gauci tries to present a system that works without animals even though he has chickens. But his orchard is completely maintained by only wood chips. What kind of wood chips? These kind of wood chips. Early on in the documentary, Paul Gauci mentions that he means leaves and branches chipped up. This is what this is. You see these little branches. You see all the leaves um, that are chipped up here. And obviously there's some brown part here. But this is the kind of wood chips he talks about. Now again, you chip those, you run them through the chipper, things will not grow in this. In fact, there are a lot of acids in here that at this state are poison for plants. This will become this. But if you put this on a pile or on your garden, it'll take two to three years at least before the bottom layers are turning into this. Now you can speed up this process significantly by using animals, by mixing just a chipped up log, that material, with the live material, the manure, from the chickens. If you just chip this pile and leave it on a pile, you have the most incredible fertilizer and material, weed free, after maybe three years. If you want to speed it up, animals can in six months turn this into this. What helped me understand this whole process better was that Paul Gauci on his garden, not his orchard, pretty much just covers with this material and he calls it wood chips because it comes from composted wood chips. So that is not very clear in the movie and we need to understand this. Wood chips will work for your garden. You do not need another input, but it will take time. It will take significantly more time to start with this than it will to have this from the beginning. Now there are lots of good no-dig gardening methods and systems out there on YouTube and these people, just like Paul Gauci on his garden lot, use this composted material to cover the garden area with it. So here's what I want to say to you. Never ever cover with just that material. If you can wait, for example in orchards, you can totally go ahead and cover with this material. Here you have the brown material, you need to add the green material and this will in turn produce this compost pile and this is then eventually where you can grow your amazing vegetables. In our orchard we laid down 40 centimeters thick of this material and now it has composted, it has gone together, and if you look on the bottom, it's pretty much this material. So it just takes time. So if you want to start your Back to Eden garden, this is the material that you want. So here it is, guys. This is some of the basic stuff that we did wrong in the beginning. We learned it the hard way. I hope this helped you. If you thought this video would be something else, if you have other questions that didn't get answered, just please leave a comment below. We'll try to make another video or I'll try to answer your comment there in the comment section. But I hope you found this helpful and it clarified them some things. Maybe this was absolutely clear to you already, but um, for many it's not. So thank you for watching guys. I'll see you soon.